Hi there, welcome. So when I wanted to learn Oracle Costing in Oracle Fusion Payroll, I could not find any content online in Shave of course. Maximum I could find was someone explaining how to create cost allocation flex field. So I had to read everything in detail to understand how Oracle Costing works. So even today, when you want to find content related to Oracle Costing in Oracle Fusion Payroll, you will not find in detail Oracle Costing concepts online. Maximum you will see the people are explaining the cost allocation flex wheel how to create it. That's it. But there are so many concepts on Oracle Costing in, 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 in the payroll. For example, in this course, I will cover everything related to Oracle Costing, how to create costing allocation flex field, how to create segments, how to enable segments at different levels. There are different levels like uh, there are different level, levels like payroll, element eligibility level, department level, location, job, position, person level, element entry level. So when to use which level? There is no content available online. In this course, I will cover everything in detail from creating cost of allocation flex field, creating how to create costing of payroll, what is, this, what is suspense account, what is default account, when do we use suspense account, when do we use default account, what is costing of element, what is cost account, what is offset account, there are different type of costing, what is distributed costing, how do we create distributed costing, when do we use distributed costing. Then we have fixed costing, not costed. When do we use this? Then we have priority account when we are defining the costing of element. What is the use of priority accounts? Then we have costing of departments, costing of jobs, costing of position, which costing to use, which level to use, which at what time, for which business scenarios. Then you have very con complex concept called costing of person. Person. It has four different levels. Employment, employment level with payroll relationship level, employment level with assignment level employment element level with payroll relationship level and element level with assignment level i will explain everything in this course with the examples and i will show you in the in the application the results how each one of the level are differentiate from each other then we have costing of element entry what is what is the hierarchy how what how payroll takes the costing from which level so i will explain all the hierarchy level which is the lowest precedence, which is the highest precedence, when do we define which level. In this course, I will cover everything. Then we have costing of payment, when do we use costing of payment. I will explain everything for costing of payment, that when, how do we calculate costing of payment, with both the scenarios, when we are using the cash management and when we are not using the cash management. So this course covers everything related to Oracle costing part. If you know Oracle payroll and you don't know Oracle costing, this course is for you. However, if you are looking for a course to teach you Oracle Payroll, this is not the course for you. This course presumes that you know Oracle Payroll and you want to learn Oracle Costing, how Oracle Payroll Costing works in Oracle Fusion. My name is Ehsan Riaz and I have more than 12 years of experience inside uh, doing implementation of Oracle FCM. Before I was doing implementation in Oracle EBS, uh, on-prem, I, I am certified in Oracle, uh, certified FCM consultant for EBS as well and now I am doing implementations on Oracle Fusion. I am also certified Oracle Payroll certified uh, Payroll Consultant as well. So I hope you will like this, you will enjoy this lecture and I will see you in this course. Thank you.